Enforcement agencies met in Seaside today, hearing from a couple featured in a new Netflix documentary. The show details how they were wrongfully accused by police in Vallejo in a kidnapping case. More on their story from Action News 8 reporter Brisa Colon, live in Seaside. Brisa? Dan, Denise and Aaron's story notably shines a light on systemic issues in policing, and today local law enforcement took the time to listen and learn from it. Thinking, should I have fought back? If only I was beaten more, brutalized more. Maybe they believe me. Denise Huskins was famously kidnapped back in 2015 in Vallejo, California. But her kidnapping itself isn't what drew national attention. It was a wrongful accusation by Vallejo police that it was a hoax staged by her and her boyfriend. The Vallejo police just held a press conference and they completely threw you under the bus. They said it's all a lie. I'm in shock, sick, paranoid, confused. After Denise's horrific kidnapping, more trauma ensued. Vallejo police publicly pointed the finger at Aaron until an investigator from a separate agency found the real kidnapper. So if it wasn't for Missy's determination and following up, this Vallejo wasn't calling her back or the FBI wasn't calling her back, uh, she's the only reason why he was connected to a crime. Things like this should never, ever, ever happen. Um, I don't want to talk bad about Vallejo people but they have a lot of systemic issues that they need to face. Seaside Police Chief Nick Borges invited the couple to speak. He says this case shines a light on what needs to change when it comes to policing. The intent is very simple. We want to be better. We want to be the best that we possibly can be. Some topics during Monday's discussion included lie detector inaccuracies, ethical pitfalls when it comes to detective work, and the lack of mutual aid between departments. The couple went on to win a $2.5 million settlement against Vallejo PD. However, no amount of money, they say, eases the pain they endured. Even at our lowest, we had faith in ourselves. We believed in ourselves and refused to let people deny the truth of what happened to us. We have fought for the truth and will continue to fight for it. And today, Chief Borges apologized to the two uh, on behalf of all law enforcement. But according to the couple, uh, by on today, by today, via Vallejo police have not apologized to them face to face formally. And they say right now it's just too late. Reporting from Seaside, I'm Brisa Colon, KSBW, Action News 8. Thank you, Brisa.